is how frustrated you are with this button. Yo, man, I'm tired of the button, man. Right. <laughs> Why is this? Is there a short of the press? Why are they doing this? Yes, they there it is, man. It looked like it looked like you got to click the button that says I'm using this camera. You know what? You're probably right. Yeah, <laughs> your real camera underneath. <laughs> yeah, that was it. That was it. Yeah, I'm probably right. You like a technical genius, bro. Yo, man, I'm a beast, man. I'll be answering the phone <laughs> with accents and just getting people, man. <laughs> hey, I, I already met it. Hey, man, this is all right. Yeah, hey, man, it's man. an interesting moment, man. There's a lot going on right now in a very short period of time. Right. Yo, speak to it. 
Oh, man. Let's this thing on out, man. Let's get on in here, man. There's just a lot happening very Yo, man. quick. Yo, I really believe that. But, dude, oh, you doing the fade out. I thought you was about to share screen out the gate. <laughs> no, no, no. I do a little fade out. What's good, y'all? Yo, man, what's good with it, man? Good, man. I'm excited to be here, man. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a, uh, a good that's a good day. Yeah, yeah, man. I think so too. I think the energy right somehow. That's a good so, day. literally, as I'm logging in, oh, excuse me, I get a message from Cash App mm. that a payment that I tried to pay declined. Wait, what? <laughs> via, via Cash App, like you tried to pay it. I tried to pay somebody something in Cash App and it declined. The problem is I didn't try to pay anyone in Cash App and I have no idea what this thing is. Mm. It was a text? Yeah. All right, man, you know I'm technical support like that. What you need to do is go into <laughs> your Cash App account and make sure the balance is where you left it. That's important to do. And go into your bank account. And tell them to keep an eye on Cash App. This is saying your it says your thirteen dollar twenty three pay twenty thirteen dollar twenty three cent payment at Eileen Fisher Ecom was declined. So is the at mean does that mean they tried to request some money? And your I never payment to them was declined. It said at them. I got nothing. The I, I I get people trying to request payments all the time. Yo, why? When, we Zoom, when we do zooming, we do zooming with the homies and <laughs> hey man, uh, send me eight dollars. No. Damn, they be doing like that. <laughs> oh, dude, ask for a thousand all the time. It's a it's like a dude that always asks for the thousand dollars. And it's just uh, a case of hitting the wrong button. No, no, no. He oh oh yeah. If we mess up, absolutely yeah. Right. <laughs> Yeah, you got a D. Hit the wrong button now, I'm evicted. All right. Because <laughs> like, can, you can't send it back. So um, there, got, there should be something there to maybe a block it, uh, Lance, and tell them, you know, there might be some tampering. Let me go check on my Bitcoin. Now that you're saying that. <laughs> Yo, man, you know what? Yo, this is a personal decision. But, man, as much as I love Bitcoin, I'm like, pull everything you got on Bitcoin. And anybody listening... Don't take what I'm saying and do it, but this is what I'm saying. And put it on Ethereum because the amount to ratio to the percentage of the growth, because they're both growing, you're going to make more on Ethereum. Now, no one do that. I am not responsible for your life and what you do with your money. That's my disclaimer. How do you feel about the differences? I feel like if you look at all the cryptos, they go at the same rate. It's just some are more valuable, so they jump more. Now, granted, if you have 50000 in Bitcoin right now, then you jump in at 100% times 100%. But mm. if you put in, let's just say, 3Gs on Ethereum, now you're going three times the amount. So your growth, it's an exponential thing. It's like it's going by a... A percentage. What is Ethereum? It's another cryptocurrency. Yes, ah, mm, that always gets interesting because I don't, I don't know if Bitcoin is actually a cryptocurrency. I know that that's how they advertise it, and that's where the misnomer is. And I understand there's a bunch of other cryptos. I don't, I don't know if I'm confident in calling. Bitcoin a cryptocurrency, especially today, because of um, because of its value. Let me tell you what we know about crypto that we all know about every, everything else. Everybody's paying attention to Bitcoin. Yeah, Bitcoin's the, that's the it's it's it feels like the difference between uh, David Buster David Buster uh, money and money money. Yo, man. Dave and Buster money is valuable. Right. And you could have a good time with it. But Bitcoin feels different 
you could go buy a Tesla with Bitcoin right now, today. Absolutely. Tomorrow. And I'll you know tell I mean? you this. I have no intentions of spending Bitcoin as Bitcoin. My whole goal is to make the money in cash out. Right. And I, that's why I think Ethereum has a has a situation where the win, where they can, what's the name, where uh, they have a situation with a win where they can um, maybe be the currency. Right, where they could actually be the, the world currency at, at some point in time. <coughs> no, world possible. government, baby. That's what we aiming for. Come on, Illuminati got my email yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're talking about you talking about global currency, one currency across the globe. We're talking about globalism. Yeah, which is clearly a terrible idea, I guess. In somebody's <laughs> mind. In somebody's world, this is terrible. You know what else is funny, man? You know, like, and you know, you know, currency is how they keep uh, Africa out of the world's economy. You know, like Af African currency don't really translate anywhere except for in Africa and barely there. Like, you can take some pesos and turn it into cash. You can turn it into American dollars. You can't do it with like African no. currency. Black T University out here teaching again, man. Damn, damn. <laughs> <laughs> them, them, uh, them dollars where he's like, when I tell you the boy's got his own money, he can't spend that shit here. <laughs> <laughs> I can't spend no money with Eddie Murphy face on it. He can't spend no money with Eddie Murphy face on it. You be better off with the uh, David Buster dollars. You be. <laughs> <laughs> You tell me you got fifty dollars on a David Buster good card. I'm like, hey man, let me get that about you, bro. You got some some Chuck and Cheese tokens, hey man, let me get all them, bro. Oh my god, hey man, I must say you are really telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> you know, today today feel like one of those days. There's going to be so much random fun shit. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. Man. That is also the truth. I can feel it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wait, wait. Uh, let me. That's the last. Y'all want to go there first? Hey, man. Well, I, I'm not going nowhere till I get an exclusive Mikey Winfield intro, and if I don't get that. I'm just yeah. gonna sit here. You're right. You're right, man. I was like, I wasn't sure when I was gonna bring it in, man. But I was, you know, I didn't want to step on anything. Everybody, welcome to Black Tea University episode. Look at this, number thirty, damn two. Wow, mm. wow, wow. I'm a. Uh, you know, you know what thirty two is. Keep talking. Really close to thirty four. Damn. That's the truth. You know damn. who won number thirty four. True, man. You the stuff you saying is is piercing right now. Is is piercing, yo, you know man. And, I mean? and look at this, man. We talking episode uh thirty two right now. So we kind of talking like magical. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is. It's showtime. Hey, this is so good. We might yeah. have to. We might have to. Clip it, you know. What I mean, we might have to, <laughs> yeah. we might have to doctor it up and then clip it. You know what I mean? Yo, man, for real. They calling bank. I'm calling game. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> ah, so yeah, man. I mean, I guess, I guess we here. You know, I mean, you know, we here, man. Um, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, Mike. Let's get into the the, the details. Um. Uh, Paul Pierce hopped on his IG live, and he uh he had strippers in the background who were giving him massages and yeah, lady. dancing. Are they strippers? Are we You're right. You know, man, I've been influenced by the media. You're right. They could have just been friends that were very kind. It's Paul Pierce. It's California. I'm imagining it. Maybe it was a pool party. I mean, maybe it was just some young ladies who wanted to handle the truth. Yeah, right. But keep going, Mike. Yeah, yeah, man. This is why Lou Williams almost retired. He was like, man, y'all ain't gonna, man, I gotta leave LA? Come on, bro. 
He did, huh? He did. He almost hit the button. He was like, enough, enough is enough. You know? <laughs> right. So um uh ESPN saw the video that was shared, you know, and um from there all I heard is they parted ways, you know, which I'm to assume that ESPN uh fired him. You know, and um, I think that's the latest update I got on the story other than, you know, him with multiple videos afterwards saying, you know, hey, bigger and better things, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so conflicted on this, the more I think about it. I don't I don't really know what 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 is what's the conflict. Part of the conflict is. All right. What did he do? If ESPN feels like we're parting ways, why? Like why? Like what's the logic? He's a he's an adult. All the women seem of age. They all seem like they was having a good time. Seemed like somebody having. It seemed like a, a, a millionaire having a millionaire life to me. That's what I would be doing if I was a millionaire. I'd do, it'd be a lot of that. It'd be a lot of that. <laughs> I, um, that was my initial feeling. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, uh, oh, uh, side, total side note, but still on track. There's a show on, uh, there's a show on Netflix called um, Instant Hotel. And basically what they do is like, it's a, it's a bunch of couples reviewing each other's Airbnbs. And they went to this Airbnb and they had all this art and all this space and like this, cool shower and the lady came in the expert came in and was like oh man you know this this could have such a good family vibe and the family would really do well here and i don't know if these aesthetics would do for for a family and i'm watching this <laughs> and i'm like this house ain't for family this house is for bitches like <laughs> this house is for keeping a lot of uh good company and having a good time in here so i say that to say Yo, bro, sometimes the aesthetics are what they are. And I don't understand what he did. Where's the issue? Yo, man. ESPN, what are you going to actually point to? Because whatever you're going to point to, I'm then going to start caping for you guys um, making women's sexuality be villainized. I like that. I like that. You're you know, not okay with women being sexual, ESPN? Is that a problem for you? So how about so, how about Paul Pierce quit? How about that? Because they felt a way about him having women around him that were comfortable in their sexuality. Is that does that bother you, ESPN? Wow. You know what? I like that a lot. You know, I always thought of basketball though, not always. I haven't always, actually, just recently. It's a family show. You know, so he mm. is an employee of a family show. So, and it's it's a, a double on tundra with freedom of speech. You know yeah, how he, we feel like we can say? say anything, but to me, it just prevents freedom of speech. All only prevents you from going to prison. It doesn't mean that some corporation can't fire you because you got ass, and that's not how they want their company represented. Yeah, but he not he wasn't doing this while he was on the job. <laughs> he was like, man, Kyrie went crazy last night. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, because it, it is, it's two part, right? It's like the natural response to people. So, there's a few parts of it. Your first thing is you work for ESPN, you work for Disney, blah, blah, blah. So, we know that they want to uphold certain images and things or at least perceived to uphold certain images because there's a lot of inconsistencies in what these so-called images they want to perceive are. It's like this, like a, it's a, it's a, it's a picking and choosing of when we want to uphold these quote unquote values and, and those things. So then you take that and then Another part of me is like, but I just don't do things on the internet. 
That's the other part. That's just hey, me. Like I, man. I don't do all kind of stuff I'm not gonna do on live. That's just nothing to do with this, PM. I'm just not doing it. Pants. That's the conflict, Lance. I knew you would hear it. I knew I ain't even got to get to it. I knew you would. Yeah. So it's like, but but then me me knowing that makes me feel like he didn't want that job no more. And, and he needed a probable cause to dip out. Okay, cool. Hey man, part of ways. And and he has probable cause. Enough people see that and understand the ridiculousness of that to say that's not like a fireable offense for you to be able to walk away from a job and, and get whatever compensations and things come with that. Because when you say parted ways, that's not the same as firing because they violated something. Or did he get swept up in um, habits, like new habits? Like, it's not, okay, and, and, and like-minded energy, right? I'm not prone to do things on the internet. I'm not prone to see somebody fighting and want to record it. Mm -hmm. But there's been a few times I re reached for the phone. <laughs> like, oh, 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 wait, what am I doing? That's that's not cool. <laughs> but you gotta you gotta check check lame stuff at the door. Like, what oh, like was was it just was it just a good time? And you're like, well, this is what people do now. I was like, yeah, incriminate myself. Hey, oh, man, I shouldn't have posted that. Question. And it was too late. What if someone else records him and it's not his live? Then is this not even a topic? Yeah, I, th I think I think if someone else does it, it's a different ball game. But because it's him, it looks it's purposeful. I mean, he he done these things on purpose. What for whatever reason it's his life, it's him holding the phone, it's him talking to the camera. He wants us to see this. Yeah, for whatever man. reason he wants us to see it for. He's so, also drunk too. What's that? He's also drunk too. <laughs> yeah, but I don't. But I don't think I, he, he's he's grown. I, I don't. I don't think he's like drunk. To, like he's in his right mind. He knows what he's doing. So he's it's like, out. yeah, it's 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 it's. Either if he wanted the job, then then that's 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 just an idiotic decision to make to record it. If you wanted that job, I'm more along the lines of like I don't I think it's uh, like it was something. It felt like something else. Like he don't care about that job. Like if y'all, I mean, if y'all gonna find me, whatever, bro. But because it, it, it ain't like the live was lit. It wasn't. It wasn't Tory Lane's live. It was three hundred people watching. Yo, 300 people, uh, no, no, it ain't even, I'll come back to that. No, that's not lit at all. That sounds like <laughs> he doesn't, at his yeah, level, he just doesn't lie. use it. <laughs> it was 315 <laughs> people. You know what's crazy? That's the first time Paul Pierce ever went live. <laughs> that's what it probably might have been. It, it might it might have been. You know he never I mean? go live because that's how his house is all the time. That's why it didn't feel weird. It was like, what, this is a Monday. <laughs> this is kind of how we kick it, man. It's Easter Sunday. I mean, listen, we bring it in. <laughs> Yo, man, so he can't just walk away. He can't just decide he wants to quit. He has to go out with this bang if he doesn't want the job. I, I mean, people people do things all the time to get themselves fired. I'm not saying it's what he done. I'm just saying it's a possibility to look into or to think about, right? Because it's like, and we we've all had jobs. Even okay, we we can speak from a from a perspective of entertainment, right? We all know, and we might have all done these things and been in these positions where even you watch what you say because yo, I don't want to mess up this thing. I don't want to say too much. You know what that's like. Yeah. So imagine on um on. On um, Instagram Live, uh, smoking weed, drinking with uh, with uh, naked and half naked women twerking in the background. You do that when you don't like. You 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 don't really feel like you have anything to lose by doing this. For me, 
I don't ever feel like I have anything to gain by going live and posting those things. So that's why I I don't do those kind of things. But if you feel like, yo, I ain't gonna lose, like, I'll be at work tomorrow. But tonight. Going live with it is crazy. Now, we'll post a video with some scantily plans, y'all. Hey, man, so. You've been to my Instagram before. You know I'm about <laughs> Hey, man, I just, I just seen a picture. I just seen a picture that I posted in my stories. Um, cause it just popped up and I'm, I'm finding it now. Oh, here I go right here. And, th- and this is just a picture and, and y'all know, y'all know that a picture only shows a picture, right? I would never post the videos and the things that transpired, but that was. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. You, you ain't got nothing to do with that. You just there. I'm just there. That was just a wild night in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I'd but, be interested in watching the video <laughs> up to a certain point, of course. I'd be, <laughs> I'd be interested in going to Tulsa. <laughs> but no, no, no part of me ever, when things of that nature are going on, make me think, let me go live. I've n- that's never crossed my mind. Not one time in my whole life. And that's because it doesn't, are you saying because it could not benefit from your perspective? Career wise, not even career. I just think it's lame as hell. Like it just never, it never crosses my mind to show people what I'm doing, unless I'm unless I'm entertaining. I, I, I'm not interested in in, rea- in anything reality related. It is one thousand percent lame as hell, and I can say honestly, there's been. I mean, I don't know. I I guess. Uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to gauge it. There's been times I've had to check it because like we all live in this, this world and this worldly space where you have to be like, watch the habits, right? Like we're all kind of being trained or manipulated from everything that's going on around us. It's like, you ever feel like you ever have your phone in your hand and you realize you don't need it in your hand yeah. all the time. It, it's just like, I don't, what, just, what about this? Do you ever feel your phone ringing and it's not mm. yes and you just like i got check something something might have just happened yes you you are you are you go to go you wake up in the morning and go directly to to mm-hmm. instagram or youtube like oh they got me oh i'm in here i checked that before I, I said what's up to the lord before i check my emails before i handle any business i mean i was on the full swipe so with that habit there is there is a aesthetic. I'm there's a there's been times I've had a, a lot of cash on me. Now, I won't even say a lot. I've had a fair amount. I've had a reasonable amount of cash, and I was this close to a money phone. I was <laughs> this close. Yeah. I couldn't go full money phone. Maybe I like scratched my face and the and the cash was in my hand. And it would have been a story, but not a full thing. And when I go back and see it, then I delete it. But it's like, it's me. It, it's the, the response is on the after effect because I'm just in the whirlwind of the world. Like, it's like being really, really in tune with that. Like, Lance, you're still aware that this is trash. Like, no, nah, this ain't what we do. So, like, I'm trying to think of the time. Have I ever been in a... There's been times I've been in a, 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 a strip club or I've been in a club because I because I want to say I'm probably the avid club goer in this space. Yeah. Yeah. So like there's been times yeah. I've been in the club and I'm I'm this dude. We are and on the on the post, I'm like, why why do it? And then why am I why am I hesitant? And the hesitation is what you're talking about, Lance. It's just like this feel weird and lame and awkward. But it's like also, you know what it is? There's two different versions of me as a person. There's the person that the internet gets to see, and then there's a person that exists on the internet that's that person, right? So it's like as existing amongst the weirdos and how much am I willing or not willing to do? What Paul did is, is existing amongst the weirdos. Hmm. It's like 
all millionaires have parties like this, but they just don't post them. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the reason I think that that stands out. What's up? No, because um, th those things are normal. So now I'm the weirdo because I don't think I think that that's dumb. So I'm the weirdo. Agreed. And I'm okay with that. Like you, you have to you have to be really comfortable with just being an anomaly and being strange and because in this world we live in content content you need content you yo man yeah. okay content. so that's what i was about to say man <clears throat> in those spaces you talking about the clubs and stuff and blah 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 i will probably be one to just post because i don't post enough so there's yeah. times when i'm like damn all right yeah i'm here da, da, da. just because i don't post consistently yeah so, it, it, I end up, man, in my post, it, they can't all be in the grocery store. My, you know? It's technically work. <laughs> to a certain extent, it's like a work thing, right? Like, it's like, it's work of Jade. It's like, I'm, I'm, I'm creating content for followers and fans because we're all in this weird world, bro. First of all, we y'all remember being famous used to be like, you used to be like, they you wouldn't see famous people. Now people are famous for no reason. At the end of the day, our goals are just to sell tickets to people, to us doing stand-up. Yo, we do a, a podcast so we can create content so more people can mess with us to come see us do stand-up. <laughs> Yo, man, you know what? Oddly enough, people really want to know what we're doing. And you know? but, but none of us want to tell them. Nobody here wants to. Some people want to tell them. Some people need to tell them these are the lands and friends that be crying on the internet. They need, <laughs> they needed these friends. <laughs> okay. So and, and then see there there is a um there there's a group of people who are famous on the internet and they're famous from being famous. Yes, that's what they're famous for. So they just put cameras in front of their face and just do stuff, right? They don't really have a particular talent, a skill. They're not um, particularly interesting. They just roll the camera. So let's do that. Let's get some jalapenos and rub them in our eyes on the podcast. That shit will go crazy. It's no, possible. Man, you already had the best idea, man. I want us to find that clip and re and re air it, man. When you just had us create beef. Oh man, man, the beef, beef man. <laughs> Yo, the beef is dope, man. <laughs> the fake, the fake beef is super lit. <laughs> and and that's been going on for years. Right. right. But see, it's no ideas original, nothing new under the sun, man. All of these things have been done and redone and then done again. Right? Yeah, man. It's crazy. Um, yeah, man. I I got like I got a bunch of like random stuff on my mind today right between yo man the, i like this tell us because i really want to know what y'all up to because i'm like yo i feel so like that too out, right? check this out <laughs> so my grandparents been here my grandparents been at the house for the past few days hanging out with them i watched um uh godzilla versus kong with my grandfather he's into that kind of stuff mm -hmm. i i don't get it i Hey man, I was just spending time with my grandpa, man. I I do not understand. I I don't get it. Uh Godzilla versus I haven't seen it yet, but I know Godzilla versus Kong. They literally were doing things to take away from the storyline because we're here to see the fight. You're mm -hmm. just here for the for the fight. Bro. So man, what I heard is it's a swamp animal and a little monkey, and they mutated. And then they I haven't seen it yet. And then they get gigantic. And then they fight in the world of regular world stuff. Hey, right? uh, yeah. Bro, when I tell you I was sitting there, he was like, ho, ho. And I'm sitting there like. <laughs> like it was Mayweather and Pacquiao. <laughs> like it was anything interesting. Like I was like, really? mm. But then in the same, in the same vein, right? Mm. Yesterday, I was watching the Kings game, and he was watching it with me. Watched the national championship, and he was he was watching it, and he would comment on it, but he's not in the basketball. He'd be like, "Sounds they they're called goaltender right there, right?" And I was like, "No, nah, that that's that's a 
No, that's that's traveling. <laughs> like, oh, uh, uh. Mm. like he just he probably watching. I'm watching the game. Like, oh, he probably like what? Like, that's is. interesting, right? I'm watching that with him, and I was watching westerns with him. This the thing about westerns. You like westerns, Mike? Uh, I would give them the chance, but I haven't. You ever, I, you ever watch watched westerns, BT? What's a western? <laughs> I know Wild Wild West. I know that one movie with Will Smith. Yo, I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why I asked in that order. Because I knew damn well BT had never seen no western. Because BT don't like nothing old. Like no dirt, bro. <laughs> hey. I, I might Mike might have had a chance with something old. Yeah. You know, Mike Mike is in tone. Mike is in tune with his old with his old man roots. Just an old woman roots. Er, er. <laughs> yeah, man. Mike, Mike almost can't wait to be an old man and sit in a rocking chair and just <laughs> be mad at people. Yo, imagine that life. Don't that just sound amazing? Because people get <laughs> off my lawn life. Yo, they just hear your complaints. You mad at everything and they can't talk back to you because you've earned the elderly respect. You earned the right to tell them to shut the fuck up. Oh and you God. know what's funny? I feel like they hear you a little more too when you're older. Absolutely. Because it's like all oh, wisdom. Like, I'm telling you right now, you cheat. Man, we was, watch we was watching these Westerns, man. And the thing about the Westerns that be so funny is um, they all like they all feel like the same movie. Mm. Are you watching them? And I, I was just laughing at like the, the police chief is always like he 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 can have on any outfit. He just got a badge. Like it's, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> he'll like he'll have on when I get on, but it's be a badge right here. Say, like, oh, that's the sheriff because he got the sheriff. star badge. Oh, that's the funniest that. But then my grandma was watching the Bodyguard with the mm -hmm. Houston, right? Right. And um, I'll tell you something. We was talking about that Tina Turner doc. Right and and your and grandpa my, watched that? No. Oh, okay. Nah, we was watching the bodyguard though, and um, I was telling y'all about my my disdain and how much I despise that documentary and what's love got to do with it, and in a lot of ways, um, Tina Turner. Mm. On the flip side of that, Whitney Houston. Oh yeah. Never done that. You see what I'm saying? Like yeah. the difference. Now Whitney done an interview with Oprah, right? And she and she spilled some dirt or whatnot, but she never let the media sling Bobby Brown through the dirt like they wanted to. See, the media's perception that they always tried to push was evil Bobby Brown corrupted our beautiful Whitney Houston. Mm -hmm. And Whitney never let them do that. She never let them do that to that black man. And for that, I will always salute and love Whitney Houston. No pun intended. But, you, but yeah, you will always love her. And I... <laughs> yeah. Hey. You, you still singing? Well. Go ahead. Hey, it's a new Western coming out. Isn't it with um, Idris and uh, Lil Nas X? Lil Nas X, first of all, that is definitely not Lil Nas X. That is the boy from Stranger Things. Oh, shit. Concrete <laughs> Cowboys. It's not right, on that right. Yo, my Hilarious. bad. My bad. Yeah, that, yeah. Because that dude's a good actor. He, he up there like, oh, come on now. He watching this right now. Yeah, what? Man. Come on, Mike. <laughs> my bad. Yeah, man, but they, they got a, I saw him with cowboy hats and horses, so I just assumed. Listen. Western, that only happens in the West. Westerns are a very interesting space. Uh, I just played a cowboy. Shout out to interesting things going on. Uh, my commercial dropped literally right before we started. That's why I was like, it's a lot of stuff happening right now. So I just saw the spot. Um, I don't even know if we can play it. Oh, because anyway. somebody else might own it? Hulu owns it. First of all, <laughs> damn! Congratulations, commercials yeah. on oh, yeah. the face getting out there. Damn, nah. nah, 
That's oh. the crazy part. Oh no! The face ain't out there. <laughs> <laughs> what was the hat? The cowboy hat on your face? No, no, no. I, I'm in the commercial, but I'm in it for like that long. So when I so okay, a hey, question: Was you in it longer or shorter than I was in Pop Star? Because I was in there for probably maybe 0.3 seconds. I might, I might, I might have you by a little less, bro. <laughs> I might have you by. I, I, I'm like a, I'm in there like a, like a sneeze, bro. I'm like actually, like a quick sneeze too. Not, the, not even that. Just the not, actual, not, not the build up to the sneeze. Nah, just the cheese. just, just, just the particles. Just the particles, bro. Just the COVID. So, <laughs> so booking it, clinics. It, it 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 so all right. You y'all know how this go. You do the audition, and then I went out for like a bunch of. I went out for a very specific role. I got to the call back, and they was like, "All right, try this. Okay, now try this. Okay, now try this." And I tried those two, right? And then I actually saw now seeing it. After having the whole the all the time on set and the wardrobe and all knowing all the ins and outs of what happened, I'm like, first of all, I love the concept for the commercial. I feel like it's going to be everywhere. And I was like, huh. Okay. Uh and it was super dope because I booked it. Me and Tangerine both booked it. Right. Word. So this is this is the first time we've ever got to book something together. And she's she's in there. She gets a camera time, she gets the words in. And I don't even have no words. I'm just facing it again, right? But I'm in there. And that's all that matters because I'm a principal. Hey man, so hey, that's good. You made it seem like your face wasn't even visible. Like somebody could hit pause and you would be on the screen. Yes, but um far enough back where it's like <laughs> you wouldn't know it was me unless I just told you it was me. Because it goes so fast. It goes so fast. Now, what they do with the 15 second spots and the other commercials, I don't know. But for this one, it went fast. But it's uh, they spent a lot of money on it. The special effects are aggressive, so I feel like it's gonna run. So I'm like, oh, that's great. It's gonna, it's gonna run. And but you're you're conflicted, right? You're like, I booked it. It's running. This is great. But you don't really see me. I don't know. Is that good or bad? So then, uh, you know, I get some advice from some people, and they're like, actually, in commercial, that's great. If you're getting paid like a principal, but th you're not overexposed, then it allows you to do more stuff. It allows you to go in for more stuff as long as it's not conflicted. But like, if you're the face for Sprint, it's still kind of hard to get Taco Bell because it's like, well, wait, isn't he on the Sprint campaign? Even though there's no conflict. Yeah. So like, unless you get one of them hot runs like Lamorne had, like Lamorne was on. Oh, yeah. Fire, bro. I remember it like it was yesterday. So it's it's interesting because um you you can see you can see me, but it's so fast, bro. And I, here's the here's the end of the day. <laughs> and they the other response to it was like the money you're gonna make from this is gonna make up for the lack of screen time. I'm like, oh really? Mm. So you think it's gonna this is gonna run? It was like this is gonna probably run. They spent a lot of money on this. So I'm like okay and they don't really have a time stamp on it like you know the christmas spot had I, the christmas spot i had more time but it was a christmas spot yeah so, right so I, now i'm just thinking about production stuff so i'm just like all right you know what money means money means this huh, did you say give me five season two uh did you say it's special because that's all money mean to me it just go create more stuff Produce, right just reinvest it into yourself and put the money up until Hey man, did, did you see what happened to the? Y'all saw what happened to the AT and T girl on uh, as far as commercials. Y'all know anything? With her too? No. You supposed to go with the big AT? Um, maybe. Okay. But more importantly, probably the thick ass might be the issue. That you got a thick ass too. Let me explain. <laughs> <laughs> She was doing commercials, and I guess she reads the comments. And the comments was a whole bunch of uh, sexual uh, comments towards her. Like, damn, you know what sex? Everybody know what sexual comments mm -hmm. are. So she 
brings more attention to it by going on live and saying, I can't believe this would happen. And she cries, you know, ah, this has made me feel bad. And then there's people like, why are you doing that? That's even bringing more attention. I didn't even know about this. So now if you look at the AT&T commercials that are coming out, she's either behind the desk or from like the hips up. Man, um, you know, man, yeah. men, I, man, listen, man, I might be on this island by myself. Men, specifically, I don't even know if that matters, but kind of. Men have to stop villainizing women for their sexuality. It has to stop, bro. We have to stop making women feel bad about their sexuality because that response is an indirect she's not really mad nobody's talking about her like that she's been mentally programmed to think that this is negative energy because of the negative energy placed on women about their sexuality because she don't she doesn't want to be objectified because this is, uh, it's like, it's like, so she feels uncomfortable because we don't make a world for women to feel uncomfortable in their sexuality. For her, for the longest, she probably came up and in school, don't wear this, don't wear that. You look like this, you look like that. So she's been trying to avoid that energy her whole life. So now being faced with it as a grown woman, with, with you ever see a woman comfortable in her sexuality and she come in with them, Double D's and you look, she be like, I know, and you be like, oh man, and you just be like, man, she showing is cool, and then you ain't hit, you ain't smashed, she didn't touch him, but it's just like she was comfortable in her body because she has become accustomed to this. Let me tell you something about this AT and T girl. She was in there with that little tight jean shirt on, fully covered. So this girl had some big ass titties. I say, damn, she got some big ass titties. I, I wasn't trying to objectify her. I was just. It just was blatantly obvious. I'm like, bro, I'm just a, I'm a comic and I'm observing. I'm like, yo, I think, there's a, I think there's a range to the comics. I mean, to the comments though, because damn, you got some big ass titties, man. If I had big ass titties, I'd be like, oh, thank you. And you probably hear it all the time. And you probably like, mm, yeah, thank you. You know, it's cool. But man, there's some dudes that's behind the camera screens that's not right in that. There's some dudes is like, I like to put my balls on top of them titties and then you swing it around and throw it in that fat ass ass, girl. You seen that comment too? <laughs> oh, yeah, I saw that one too. Right. <laughs> Sir Lance, who just wrote it? <laughs> so, man, <laughs> hey, man. Hmm. It's, it, you know, so it's, it's <laughs> some slime balls. It's some people that's like, just say some shit. And man, we guys, like, we looking for that comment. Like we get that comment, we like, oh, do you? That's what you want to do, <laughs> you know? Because <laughs> that's how the world is uh, shaped. Yes, you know? because so. we men are totally comfortable in our sexuality. Like we're totally comfortable in it, bro. And let me tell you the difference. This is how. This is how you. This is a perfect example. You have to picture the way women feel about heterosexual men uh, advances is how heterosexual men feel about homosexual advances. Hmm. So it's like, when you're totally comfortable with your sexuality, if a gay dude came and said, mm, 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 yes, gay stuff, you know, rainbows and pickles, or I don't know what they but uh, if, if, if they if they said it as a man, you'd probably laugh it as a man that don't have no interest in that world. You just would laugh. You'd be like, thanks. And then you'd keep it pushing because, mm -hmm. you know, you're not over here existed in this world. If you're uncomfortable in your sexuality, yo, man, don't come over here. That, 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 I'll kill you. Bro, relax, man. Yeah. What if he didn't know? What if you had on? The shirt you said you got on the the jeans and the shirt you said said you might have been one of his. Relax. Mm, that's interesting. Hey man, I worked on a uh, I worked on a gay network. <laughs> I remember. I remember. What was the name of that? Sh it was uh, 
Don't straight out report. The, the straight out report. Straight out report. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Now I went to college in San Francisco. Hey, listen, we all took admin classes. The <laughs> field that we're in is surrounded by that. So, like, you just got to be comfortable here and be like, oh, no, it's cool. Doc, I don't care nothing about that, bro. Do what you do, fam. Like, I don't care. Yeah, man. I just, I'm with you. I'm with you as, uh, for many of that, I just, like, you see women getting harassed all the time. The women that you attempt to protect. And everybody's yeah. not coming at it with the same respect you might approach with and we've known that forever so agree i'm i'm always been a fan of can't you just like all of us can't if we don't want something can't we just turn off the internet i've always been that like can't we just kind of hang up the phone can't we like isn't that like the power you have to do that but that's, i guess not. that's much too simple for you know people want nothing and everything at the same time <laughs> Right, it's like, and that's the problem. It's like you can just get off the internet, but I can't. I'm addicted. Yeah. It's so then you gotta take you're gonna take what comes with the internet because there's also a world now, not necessarily with this, because what you are describing is um um not something she can control, but you can turn off your comments. She now, probably she, she might be reading the AT and T that, That's what I'm saying. For that, for this in particular, it's not as in control. But even there's a lot of things people can do. If if you talk about how toxic or whatever word you want to use for the internet, there are things you can do to help deal with it. But then if you turn off your comments, you can't look as lit because you don't got as many comments. And it's like, well, hey, then you got to pick one, bro. And you can't read the positive ones that come yeah. along with that slimy yeah. shit. Why are you reading comments for a commercial anyway, bro? Why are you going in and reading? I just, I, it just, it just seems like, <laughs> and, 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 and what, you can't, we ain't gonna never be able to control how people move. So my question always be for a solution, how you gonna move? You can't control what they gonna do. You know I how she moved? She moved behind the desk. <laughs> <laughs> and I like, and when she move, I move just like that. I'm behind the desk. Like Stand up! It's gonna be a tall desk. <laughs> I was, was it uh one division every time cat Dennis showed up i was like yeah i am i'm i'm not going to say anything like mike is saying because i'm respectful but i mean i mean Stand up! I mean. Yo, man i'm trying to figure out what comment i was trying to connect with yesterday man i just i don't troll but man, I be in some of the big like uh, news uh, things, and I just write comments that I know it's gonna be like. <laughs> you know, so you, you just know, so you be trolling? Maybe, maybe. You know? <laughs> but man, I was uh, damn it. I'm trying to think of the. It's like man, to it's shaming is just the worst anyway. But man, there's a lot of women right now that are paying their mortgages off of the year with OnlyFans. Yes. You know, man, so like we are promoting right now, which is great, using your sexuality to work in your favor. I don't well, know if I'm gonna have that result on my OnlyFans if I just go in there and swing my balls around. So I, I what, don't know until I try. It but. can't be, we can't promote women, we can't promote body positivity and then shun women on the other side it just don't make no sense y'all can't art it can't be both ways it can't be like go lizzo yay uh uh it can't be pro lizzo pro uh slut walk paul pierce got fired because there's women on there <laughs> slut walking <laughs> yeah well you know because th th this is the cold part right <sighs> This, this is that, that turning point because you want to protect women's virtue. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you know, I just, you know, you know what be happening with me a lot of times is like, I, do I want to bring my friends down this road? <laughs> 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 
I'm, I'm fine. I'll be like, no, I mean, you know, I don't want to bring my friends down to these places. They just hey, man, before you say it, I know that my life is uh, fiction and nonfiction, and people don't really know the difference. <laughs> So I'm travel, not even here right now. I travel down most roads, but people don't know who's <laughs> traveling down that road. <laughs> if you talk about if you talk about uh, what, what women's movements, a lot of the body positivity stuff, a lot of these things are are fake movements, not controlled by women, really. Yes. So you have a lot of men, a lot of white men that kind of give us movements and we get behind them because we don't we don't do the the research or the the critical thinking that it takes to to figure out why is this happening right now. So so then we just say Body positivity. I'm fat too. Yeah. And it's like, no, 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 no. You got to think about this because when you talk about body positivity, that's great. But there are health risks that come along with, with these things. That there are, there, there's imagery, there, there's a lot of things that, that come, go along with that. That's just not about um, accept people because they're heavy. We've been accepting fat all, like, I don't know nobody who don't got fat family. Our mamas is fat and our aunts, like, that's yeah. not new. Right. That's, that's not new. They, they they put it out there like the whole time, big people been getting disrespected, but now we put an end to that. It's like, no, we've been loving our mamas this whole time. And yeah. I be looking at a lot of these niggas, baby mamas. They've been loving fat women. I do. Since your girlfriend's wives, all that stuff. All of that. So it's like you gotta you have to sit back and ask yourself, why are they promoting these things? Because if you look in your regular life, since his girlfriend's wives and BT. <laughs> I love them. I love them. I love them too. Keep going. <laughs> What's oh yeah. No, I, look, I, man. I was just agreeing. I, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. I do not know any man who don't like big women. I know men who say they don't, but I see what they be on. Right. So a, a lot of these things, man, it's like, yeah, I, I don't know where this comes from. It's like, I mean, yes, I'm all for body pos like body positivity and all of that. But I mean, let's let's also be health conscious, and I, I don't want to praise and celebrate someone for being unhealthy. Yeah, man. Uh, uh, me and my wife, we talk every day. She throws out and she says, is she fat or thick? And I'm always like, thick. You know? <laughs> She's like, well, what about her? I'm like, thick. <laughs> the longer the thick, the bigger she is. Yeah, man. I mean, <laughs> you be watching 600 pounds like, oh, she thick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, this is what I think, though. I think <laughs> <laughs> hey man, what 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 we do, man? I think is how we present the comments and stuff like that about it. That's what I'm learning from oh. Married at First Sight. You know, it's how you bring it in. Like if you write in the comments when they doing a body positive post, it was like, hey man, uh, you know, cholesterol is gonna kill you. You know then maybe they're like, oh, not on this post. DM her that or something like that. I think it's just the approach. Yeah. On hey, man, I think um, like me and BT talk about this. Um, we talk about it on here, too, because BT just tell you, nigga, I'm not giving up wings, period. Never. It just ain't going to happen. Ain't going to happen. I'll be in there tonight. And, <laughs> what about some and, vegan, and vegan wings? Nope, not the same. I love them, but they are not the same. I will be at Buffalo Wild Wings because the bone-in wings are plus one. If I want to get one free on Tuesday. <coughs> and I, I don't I don't think I don't I don't think it is helpful to go back and forth with people about things that no one's mind is going to change on. We all have the information. My mind ain't gonna change. This is what I'm gonna do. 
So what's the point of people going back and forth on these things, right? I think what is important is to give the information. You got the information. We all know you make your decisions. But with that, you, you know what's funny is, and hey, yo, I could be dead wrong. I could be. There's a possibility I'm 100% wrong. If you but, say something bad about wings, you're dead wrong. No. no, I'm not saying nothing bad about wings. Wings are fucking amazing. I remember man, them. Wings. I remember wings. They were great. Hey, man, the thing about all of this stuff is it all tastes amazing. It's all great. But this is what I'm saying about my people, yeah. black people. I don't know if this is true about other people. I don't see it, but I could be wrong. We are the only people that I see the whole world eats um, um, bad foods and healthy foods, poisonous foods. We're the only ones that I see like praise it mm. and like worship it and dance for it. And you know what I mean? Like, let me tell you why I disagree. I think you, along with me, BT, we pay the most attention to us. That, that's why I say I could be wrong, because it's possible. And and because I'm I'm even talking about and, and like I said, I'm just I'm just looking at the how, how they sell food to us. They sell food to us dancing and mm, 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 mm. like that's how they sell us food. Yeah, but, yeah. But, and how do they sell white people spaghetti? Just with a plate. With black, with black people dancing? <laughs> White What's people a, aren't buying it from our dancing commercial. They're buying it from the one when they're just hmm, spaghetti. Yeah. And that's and, how and, they're selling and, it to them. Let's that, that, it if, we, if they put a black person dancing in the spaghetti version, white people would buy it. They'd be like, oh, I guess I got to go get some spaghetti. Ragu! Ragu! Goo! We just... Keep going, keep going. <laughs> we just <laughs> no, I mean, hey man, and a part of it is just that's just us, man. We got rhythm and we dance. You know and what I mean? We, so we can sell anything. Yeah, because because like as a like Jim Gaffigan, right? We all know and love Jim Gaffigan. A lot of his comedy is about food, right? Yeah, and about and he's a white dude. A lot of his comedies is about eating bad food. And and his biggest, most popular bit was about hot pockets. Mm, hot pockets are lit. You don't, but you know you, I mean? but you're not a you're not a foodie. That's not like food is not your game. Yeah, I mean you could yeah we could say that. Yeah. So 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 I think there's a balance here, right? So one, I think that there's a world where it's like. I think black people just sell stuff. Right? Just in general, I think just the showmanship that exists in us be the front runners for, for everything, right? And, and, uh, 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 not discounting the BS poison that they're trying to give us, right? Two, knowing the information is like the tactician. It's like, all right, cool. How much, like when you give me information, when Mike gives me information or Tangerine or people that I know that are very health conscious about the food that they eat, I'm not ignoring it. I'm just trying to figure out how to not, if I don't have wings and I eat very healthy, but I kill myself from stress of not having wings, I should have just had the wings. <laughs> if it's going to give me a, a headache for not doing it, then I'd rather just have it. So like balance. The stress of not eating wings. <laughs> I would, pay, bro. I I'd have to. Oh man, it's an album title. Oh, uh, <laughs> let me tell you something. I can I can give up. I've pretty much given up red meat pretty aggressively. Um, if I eat red meat, it'll be occasionally, and they got to be really like a really good cut of red meat because I believe red meat. Uh, there's an iron thing that happens in red meat that's really really great for you, right? Now you right. know what's crazy? Well, no, go ahead. No, no, say what you like. No, um, see, and th those are like when we talk about information and misinformation. When you say red meat, I know what you mean. But all meat is red meat. Chicken's red? Yeah. I mean, the red, red is blood. 
Yeah, no, of- but it's not though. Because when you wash the chicken off, it's like chicken colored. Meanwhile, the steak, when you wash it off, is red. I know. I, I, I know I know why they say it, but it comes from animals which bleed. So in my eyes, it's all red meat. Well, ah. uh, a chicken ain't a, an animal, it's a bird. Anyway, so uh <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> that was <laughs> and uh but like so it's like all right, where do I find my balances at? Right? It's like all right, my intake on fruits and vegetables should be higher, right? My intake on um red meat dissipate, my intake on pork dissipate. Um, I know that processed foods are are the issue because it's not really even meat and or what we eat. It's really America and how they process food. And this is everything. This is kind of across the board. This is, I'm I'm willing to make, hey, <laughs> healthy people, I'm willing to make an argument for this. As popular as veganism and vegetarianism is, I'm willing to bet that they are pushing a standard of things that taste a certain way that are quote unquote vegan or vegetarian that might be just as bad for you as meat, if not worse, i.e. Impossible Burger, i.e. Lance was eating mango, uh, dried mango slices. And he was like, no, you got to make sure it just says there's only mango in here. Because you'll go somewhere and you'll get one. He'll probably no. I got red number three. They're like this mm. is you. You should have yeah, had yeah. the Doritos, bro. They're probably healthier. Yeah, I mean it'll be like a lot of like a lot of like sugars and 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 food coloring added, and it's you eating candy. Yeah, natural flavors. Yeah, oh, all of that kind of stuff. All you, that. What were you talking about with the vegan food? Like, the, see, the reason why. If I'm not going to have meat, I just won't have meat. If I'm going to replace meat with something, I'll replace it with mushrooms or something like that. I just ate mushrooms for the first time last week. I, Wait, tell, I, tell me, what, you just had mushrooms for the first time? For the first time in my life. Mushrooms. Last week. I, I'm really, really, really trying to make a lot of changes because yep. I'm getting the information now. Yo, See, before the, the, you the mushrooms hear is on things, CB's list. Keep going. Yeah. See, there's a difference between hearing things and then actually processing the information, right? I can go tell you something. I can go tell you, hey, uh, if you if you do 100 push-ups, you're going you're gonna to get stronger or whatever. But until you get down and do something and you start to understand not only what that means as far as getting stronger, but what does that mean to you in your life? Right. Because what if you don't need that kind of upper body strength in your life? You like, yo, the way I live, bro, I don't need that. You feel what I'm saying? So now, now I'm getting this information. I'm like, I'm looking into different things. I'm learning that all vegetables aren't good for you. I'm learning that a lot of these vegetables are processed stuff. You talking hybrid. About like they, 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 hybrid yeah. man-made stuff that is going to give you a lot of the same cancer as Doritos. And, and you love like, Doritos. So you just be like, bro, just give me my Doritos. Give me my Doritos, bro. If you're gonna if you're gonna do that to me, so I was like, yo, let me let me, cause because the reason I brought up the mushrooms is because I will not do a meat replacement. I will not do soy meat. I I won't do that. Yeah. If if I'm going to have wings, I'll eat chicken wings, or I just won't eat wings. Yeah. Amen. This is what I would challenge y'all to look up is uh inflammation Mm -hmm. foods that cause inflammation versus those that don't and Mm -hmm. that might be a simple thing that'll stop you from just having illness on something you know that strengthens your immune system naturally something like that yeah when you brought up mushrooms mushrooms is like one of the foods that helps that Mm -hmm. yeah you, you know, you know, and you know, one of the main things is, especially um, in men, well, it happens 
and different things happen to women, but for men is you start to notice um, in, in, was it in, infertility. Mm. And when they talk about quote unquote uh, um, erectile dysfunction, yeah. a lot of that comes from the, the foods, right? So you start to eat this, this food so much, it starts to clog your blood up and you don't get the proper blood flow Conversely, you don't get the blood flow to the to meat. you know what I mean to you to your meat and meat. Now, you're taking, now you're taking rhino pills and and Viagra, but all that's doing is just pushing the blood through, but it's causing these other things too. Yo, man, let me ask you about ED or erectile dysfunction. Is it is it like coming quick or is it not being able to get erect? Which it's not getting up. Oh, you ain't not being able to get up. Coming quick, you ain't even coming to the party. You still sleep. She right there doing all of this, and your dick is like this. So that <laughs> don't have nothing to do with erectile defunction. That's just uh, inexperience with your inexperience, own body. Inexperience, excitement. Yeah, that's a lack of that's a lack of man kegels, is what that is. <laughs> <laughs> you got to Whoever's going through this, get your fellas, get your man kegels up, all right? Let me tell you what you do. You go take a piss, okay? You cut the piss off mid street You hold that thing. You be like, oh, pressure. You like yeah, practice. Yo, it you might not be it. that, though. Sometimes it might. you might need an emotional connection. So maybe you need to find love. Nah, that, that's oh, not. That's not it. <laughs> <laughs> That's de that's de that's definitely not what that's about, but but hey man hey I told y'all the story man with old girl I never got my rematch and I don't think it's ever gonna happen. But I mean mainly because I I'm never, like, man, anything can happen man. I I mean it could but I'm just like and because one of the things that I be seeing what she be posting online I be like oh yeah I'm, I'm not dealing with that. Mm. No thank you. <laughs> so no thank you. But then, see, but then this the thing, though, Mike. See, when you when you write and your blood is right and you good, you mm -hmm. might come quick, but you'll come right back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You said that like you speaking from experience. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, oh. Let me tell you this. I went to a um I went to a um personal trainer and he showed me the exercises so you can make sure when you do ejaculate that it's ferocious you know there's a muscle you can do and man after doing it for like a couple months man like when you have it it's like because <laughs> <laughs> you know how some are better than others but it consistently gives you the <laughs> and man and it's, it's an exercise man i'm not gonna do it right here and nothing but <laughs> it's simple, you know it's simple. <laughs> you could just do it while you're watching TV. You could probably do it during Oculus. You could just practice. Ah, uh, you can do it practice Oculus. <laughs> you know, I can... share it with the streets. Nah, I ain't trying to share it with the streets, man. Because, you know, when we was talking about putting stuff online earlier, I just don't want people to see you doing, doing that move. <laughs> you want to have your secret, your secret to your strong muscle? Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Yeah. It, you know what's crazy? Is, uh, now, now, this is an absolute fact. And this is this is one of the work, funny things about exercising. The crazy thing about exercising is like, if you exercise, right? If you just first of all, if you exercise, you can eliminate a lot of nonsense, right? Like eating right and exercise is amazing. But if you if you have some cheat days and and keep the physical activity, you might you just gotta find some balance, right? Or you got like you might if you eat if you eat some stuff that's not that good for you, but you give your body time enough to process it out or like i don't drink alcohol i don't do no drugs i don't there's a lot of stuff that i don't do but i eat wings oh hmm, oh right so but what i know is that when i'm working out i'm way i be wanting this hit way more like you i just be wanting to yeah what? like you fuck but like oh. but you but like I mean, but like your the in like like what Lance was saying, like the energy, the energy, your testosterone will just be up, right? Here's the other thing. I understand as a person that lives a life where I can literally lay in my bed and watch TV all day and nobody's going to stop me. Right? We have to, 
be self-motivated as, as comics, right? Mm. This is a hard fact that people got to realize that don't want to go to the gym. If you don't go to the gym, guess what? You're going to be sore in either way. You're going to be sore if you go. You're going to be sore if you land in the bed. I've tested it. They both, <laughs> they both are uncomfortable. They both don't feel good. Because when you are working out consistently, you I ain't never had a workout. And after the workout, I felt bad. I might have had a hard workout that made me throw up. I might have had a hard workout that I was like, oh, I'm tight. But I ain't never had a workout where after I was like, oh, my God, I shouldn't have did that. Never. Are you saying it's mental? It's uh, it, it's it's more than mental because no, it's after, definitely physical. <laughs> yeah, it's, de- it's definitely physical and mental because you when you work out consistently, you feel better and you realize you feel better. Now, going back and doing it again, now we start talking discipline and all that other stuff. But you do feel better. You like, oh man, I feel better. Outside of an injury. But like other than that, you're like, man, I feel better. I'm glad and I did that. I stopped doing my push-ups. It's been 30 days, man. Mm. So on that part, I feel you because I don't feel as good. I've been doing my balls exercise though. <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> 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 the tornado is coming. No yeah, man, consistently, you know, it's just yeah. ready to, you know, unleash it. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I get you. I get you completely, man, about how it makes you feel from just doing the workout. So, so here's the other random thing that that, that happened. Uh, and Lance, I know you got some other random stuff over there. Um, so right. I get the, we starting the, the thing, I'm trying to fix the audio. I get the thing about the, uh, I get the, the text about the commercial, about the commercial. And then I look at the screen and I'm just looking at myself and I'm like, oh, I like this aesthetic. I like the red, white, red one. Y'all know I don't normally do hats. If I got a hat on, it's because I don't have a haircut. Right. And I'm just like, wow. But this shirt I've never wore on screen. Because, you know, I've been in the process of like trying to start a like a, a clothing line. Um, and this is like sample, right? It's like sample. Uh, uh, it's like sample of Jace, right? And it's like just the, the cut of the shirt. I, I did something. I was like, oh, well, the cut's cool because uh, Mike, your, your jam is baseball cut, right? And I was just looking at the colors and I was like, this might work, bro. Like I, I had never, I've seen it in a mirror. But I had never seen it like aesthetically. And I was like, oh, snap. Like, there's, there might be something here that I just never, I, I hadn't seen it. You know how you ever wear something you hadn't seen it until like you wore it? First of all, side note, Mikey, this jacket is amazing. Let's just have a moment. Oh, thank you. It's a shirt. Thank you. It's a shirt with a zipper? No, nah, there's no zipper. It's a shirt under. Uh, nah. I thought it was a zipper. That's even better. It's a shirt. It's a velour shirt. Yeah, Mel- man. I um I picked up a couple of these, man. It's time. To, <laughs> it's time to really get the what's it called good, man. It's time to get the, the gear right, you know. I don't even want to talk about my clothing line if you got a velour shirt. <laughs> no, no, I, I, we 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 love hearing about your shirt. <laughs> Yo, because man, when you were talking about that, I was like, man, I'm pitching this baseball sitcom. Yo, mm. you look just like the coach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, you the coach on the, uh, you know, the other team. <laughs> I like it. Simple. Yeah. I mean, to to this part, bro, like to to end, like to all the way into the tag, like no, my logo in the tag, like really, like trying to assess how to how to do this right. I don't know, man. It's a, I don't know, man. We be doing a lot, bro. We just be doing a lot of different things, Mike. We be, we be yeah. trying to expand into a lot of different spaces. I know. And we all understand the merch game. So it's just like, how far do you want to, you know, I mean, stretch yourself in these different areas? Right. What is, tell me something both of y'all think about that's outside of, Comedy, writing, acting, like entertainment stuff. You're like, man, I would like to have this be successful also in the midst of everything that I do. 
We know Lance is opening a, a, a mushroom garden, but like, in, <laughs> we got so many things like that though. Not a mushroom garden. I wish I want to. I gotta get with Hippie in real life. I want her to. I want to go to her garden. I want to learn some gardening, some farming, just to start. Just so I have some knowledge of how to do it, and then start moving into a space where I can do it myself and then teach it to other people. Mm. Um, but that was just because you mentioned that. I got a few things. What you got, Mike? Yo, man, man, I got a complicated life, which is, and, and but it's not to me. I just mm -hmm. know, like, man, like the reason my hair ain't even done is because I was up this morning at virtual court for custody and guardianship of my niece. So I'm like, I've Wait, had is another- Is this on the Oculus or this is just on Zoom? It was just regular <laughs> like Zoom or something, okay, man. Gotcha. It wasn't even Oculus. I wanted to do Oculus court, man, but- Nah, man. So like now I'm about to have another, another, like it ain't even about to. This is probably, she been here for like the last six months, but it's like, yo, now I got a daughter in a way, you know? So now I'm like, this is tricky. Cause now I'm like, when we look back on this, what's the, uh, what's the take from it? Like now I'm like, I'm an example in her life from this age to however long she- How old is she now? 11. And do you have all boys? Mm-hmm. Mm, interesting. Yeah, yeah, man. So it's like, I knew the things I did in front of them was like, you know, I'm an example or whatever, you know, but now it's like a girl, man. Now mm. it's like, now my interactions with my wife, which already counted, count. Because this is going to be who she ends up looking for down the line. Mm. Is it going to be someone who's respectful or is it like someone who's like, you know, choking her out regularly? You know, man, it's like. Hey, I, I, I don't like that we all laughed at the same time when you said that. <laughs> you know, man. So, hey, man, look, that's what I'm talking about, man. It's like, yo, it would be so much. It'd be so much stuff. And sometimes I feel like I don't want to say I handle it too well because I'm just kind of this all the time. Whereas, you know, my wife, man, is like, oh, like, and I'm like, yo, I'm here. And she lays that on me. And then then it then that's when it get heavy to me, you know, but that's what I'm supposed to do. So I just do it, you know, but um, yeah, man. That's what I'm looking forward to, you know, growing you are, up. You are, you are here for a full girl dad. Yo, man. Wow. Yeah, man. And I I won't get too detailed about who she is, but man, oh man, it's a lot. <laughs> 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 yeah. It's I mean, eventually, man, it's gonna be on stage, at least a version right. of it, you know? So hey. Hey. Yeah. You you know, I always wanted to open like a um some some form of a homeless shelter mm. a homeless shelter or like a i don't know about a rehab facility but something where people with problems can come and be safe and get help and real help not you know just really really get help um kind of like um are y'all caught up on snowfall yes just talk about it, cause I'm so not caught up on it. It don't even matter. You know, kind of, kind of like the spot Franklin Daddy's got, something like that. Gotcha. Right. And then, so the crazy part is, I just talked to, I just talked to my boy the other day. Um, he's a, uh, he's a, a principal at a, uh, at the uh, high school, high school. Uh, Edward Harris and Monterey Trails. Mm. Um. And I was like, yo, we, we need to open a school. Cause we was talking about that before, right? And I, I never knew, like I never knew what that even meant, right? Cause I'm thinking about what I know. And I'm like, we should, they was like, yo, we should start a school. This is my church talking, like we should start a school. And I was like, what, what does that even mean? Now I'm starting to see how easy, not, I ain't gonna say easy, but how doable things are. Because all the school is is a building. That's it. A building right. with teachers. A building with some in, 
But some teachers well, some curriculum. Really just some curriculum because teachers are subjective. You just need, and and if we got a school, we teach them what we want them to learn. Yeah, the, the yeah. hard part is then uh, the accredited uh, post stuff after, but I don't really know how important that stuff is. Keep going. Well, it's it's important because they make it important. But then, like you write, BT, I don't know how important it is because I dropped out of high school, then it just let me into college. You know what I mean? So I don't, I don't even know. I don't know what none of this stuff even means. Mm. I graduated from a school called uh, Juveniles at Risk, which means if I didn't finish this combined with anger management, I was going to jail. And then once I passed it, they gave me a, the same thing all my friends had who graduated high school, the same piece of paper. That is hilarious because I definitely went to a night school because <laughs> – <laughs> same same bunch of issues in regular school. Was like I am so done with this world. I'm I'm just gonna go finish this up over here with the <laughs> the adult with the, with the drug dealer and the mother of two. Mm. Way more comfortable <laughs> around them. <laughs> so, but once you start to realize how doable this stuff is, man, I just be looking at stuff now. Like, okay, even okay, so. My, my, my pastor, the church that I'm a, a member of and been for 20 years now, something like that, maybe not that long, but right around there, he started the church in his house, in his living room with his wife and his kids. They had church in there, right? And then it grew and grew and grew and grew to where it's at now. Um, but the mentality of people is not that. I want to, I need a church. So I got to go get a building. I got to get some members. It's like, no, you have, if you want to do a comedy show, right? I want to do some comedy, but you live with three people and you got two people that be coming over. You got six people. You could do a comedy show in your house. Right. But we don't think like that. Yeah. We think I got to go to the comedy club. It's like, bro, you, you have a comedy club right there. You can get your ideas out. You can get the instant gratification. You can get the immediate response. Mm. And, they, and they can be entertained. Yeah, and you and, better be good too. It can come with some new material. Right? You can't, you're going to be stupid to have them in here to go over some the same stuff. It's like you can really be free in front of these people. And I know how my people are. My people going to want to pay me for that. Mm hmm. That's not, I'm not doing this for money, but my people's like, yo, we came to a comedy show. We want to give you something. Right. So it's like, there's so many different variations of it to where it's like, there, there, there are so many things that are doable. We just got to do them. Mm. And, and once we start to do them independent of a system or of a, a regime or whatever you want to call it, then we can start to actually get some stuff done so i'm only saying that to say i'm starting to see that way more clearly now so when i say i want to do this all i really need is a, a safe space for people to uh come to um to get help yeah uh, i've uh i i never worded it like you just did in the word of a school but i really always had an idea of, of, a, of a world where you can take somebody from a very young age and nurture their natural energy and teach them the things that I think are valuable, AKA fuck books, university, or something like that. <laughs> Black tea university. So that, but that, I, I never had a, you saying a school makes it, my, my make, I don't mean to be distracted, but there's a naked woman walking in my house now. All right. Yeah, I, I didn't expect that to happen. But they but walk no, in naked? Man, y'all need to have a conversation. Where you been? <laughs> <laughs> you don't lock your doors? I don't I just coming to get coming to get that mushroom. <laughs> mm. <laughs> coming to get that super Mario. 
something to get some of that portobello. <laughs> <laughs> some of that shiitake. <laughs> psychedelic, you feel me? <laughs> nah. hey. That was that was that was that was a, that was an interesting twist to the morning. But go ahead, BT. Uh, <laughs> nah, man, we're talking about naked women. That's way. <laughs> But no, you said you want you had an idea of this place where you could nurture yeah, children from you, a young age. You said school and it just never registered like that because of probably what you said, like all the uh limitations on when you think of a school and what that is. But like I'm I'm just so pro I I love the idea of an after school place where you can go as a child and you got interest in music and you can go and they got a studio and you can and you and your boys could go in there and just kind of create. Or you got an uh, interest in editing and y'all can just go create. Or you got an interest in, you know, stand up, the arts, in any form, and you can just go create. I just think that that is a beautiful, beautiful space. It got a basketball court. You know what I mean? Like just something. Just, like, just like, really big on nurturing children's gifts. Yes. At a young age and not yeah. teaching them <laughs> all the stuff that we got taught that, that dumbs down their big dreams. Yeah, it's like, bro. No, nothing, nothing, nothing is more irritating than when I hear young people with no hope. I get old people with no hope. Like right. the world, right. the world been kicking your ass for a minute. But right. yet, like you, you fourteen talking like this? Yeah. You couldn't yeah. tell me what when I was fourteen. I had dreams so big. I didn't have no work ethic, but I had the dreams. Right. Yeah. So now if we can nurture the dreams and teach them a work ethic at a young age and teach them the importance of diet and nutrition and exercise yep. and teach them the disciplines of even even the disciplines I'm I'm now big on disciplining young people sexually to let them know why it's it's a great time but don't rush it right because yeah. that's instantly it's instantly going to become the most important thing in your life <laughs> <laughs> that's a fact oh I got so much more done if I would have been out here smashing it's, it's but Maybe, maybe not, because that was also motivation for you to get stuff done. That was yeah. motivation for you to get stuff done. I see you know what I mean? So I, I don't know. But what I do know is, I do know this part. We would have got more stuff done based on the time spent, because the opposite sex, so we're all men, so I'm talking about women now in our life. Women are time bandits. They're time vultures. They just gonna suck up your time, and <laughs> and I don't and that's if you just if you ain't doing nothing but smashing chicks, it's going to take up a lot of time. You could be over there, you could you can be over there, and you could actually be doing the deed with this beautiful young woman for thirty six minutes, but it took you twenty five minutes to drive over there. You had to get dressed before you had to shower, get right. Then you was there for an hour and a half acting yeah. like you was watching this movie and, and then you couldn't movie. just leave right after. So now you spent two and a half hours over here. Then you got to go home and shower. You, you've given this, 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 this woman five and a half hours of your time, four hours of your day. Hey, does she know that's why you were coming over? Even if they do, oh, okay. it's an interesting thing. Like, I see, I, I have graduated and matured to this space where women just walk in your house naked. We've witnessed. <laughs> we was all here. Yeah. Where you that can cuts just... Out, that cuts out a lot of the time. It does. If she walks in naked, you go, oh, there they go. Half the work's and mainly done. Be mainly because of how long it takes to get the bra on hook. Yeah. <laughs> now, let me tell you something, right? We're talking about body positivity, right? Now, if you anything like me, you a man who love titties. Oh, come on now. All titties, right? And when you're dealing with them big old titties, mm, them just big old titties, 
them bras are not easy to take off. Oh yeah, when if she got she gonna have three or four clips if she got them AT and T's on her. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if she got them AT and T's. <laughs> Yeah, man, do you feel like a failure when you're trying to do it for one hand for so long and then you just got to be like, fuck it, put the other hand so you can get the clip? You know, you know, the, you know the thing? Hold on. I, I've been having, I've been having, hold on. Y'all keep talking. I'll be right back. I, I, I very rarely struggle taking balls. Unless they trick me. I, I can't do the front. The fronts always get me. But on the back. I'm going to tell you where I realized the, the issue was. Force. As a man, you be trying to be delicate, but yeah. with the with the broad, you got to use industrial strength. You got to use your, you got to damn near make a, a strong fist, give or take how many how many clamps you got. And then when yeah. you do that and it scrunch all up, them, them hooks uh, lose fast. But that's the hard part. You, you got to make sure you don't scratch them mm-hmm. and dig yeah. in there. See, man. <laughs> I'd be a good eight for ten, just one handed, bow, getting it, da, 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 you know, and yeah. I know it, I know it, I know it. But then there's the times you've been trying for so long, you're like, oh man, this must be an old one. It's not <laughs> she realizes she like, all right. <laughs> and then she just turned the thing around and do it herself. <laughs> uh, the turnaround. She did the turnaround because turn around. Get it. <laughs> Every time I'm trying to take off my bra and you struggle with the hook in the back, turn around. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, so, answer your question, man. You know, you try to take it off with one hand and you're not getting it. Then you try to take it off with two. You already got a, that, it's that second hand of shame. Like, I couldn't do it with one. Right. Now I got to do it with two. The worst part is when you still can't get it with two and you just try to pull it over like this. Oh, no. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, but no. she trying to do us. You pull it over. She like. And she like. Ah, and then she take it off and she just throw it at you. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Titties, oh, oh, that sounds violent. On me. <laughs> titties don't like bras in general, but titties hate. Bra on them, just like get uh, like the the hard strap over the top of the titty, the hard strap here. Titties be mad than a motherfucker, boy. When you put that, get off of me. They don't like that, bro. Yeah, you can you can see the titty frown up. Yeah, I think it's the like- wire. The wire just just mm. coming all over, you know, and it just bling and then just, yeah, man. Let me tell you something women love, bro. Just try this shit. Man. Next time you take off a chick bra, before you even go to the titty, scratch right there, nigga. Just scratch where the titty was. <laughs> she goes so crazy. She's like, I like this nigga. <laughs> and she want to do it, but she don't want to scratch herself. So nigga, just, just hit that motherfucker like four times. <laughs> It's gonna be some lines, bro. Scratching them lines real quick before you even touch the nipple, nigga. She goes like, nigga. Damn, that's interesting. All right. That's good information. <laughs> Should we scratch her back where the strap is in the middle, too? Yeah. Go back oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Damn. <laughs> Man, the simple things. It's the simple thing. Oh, nigga, if you go under the titty, nigga. Oh, oh, man. Oh, she gonna get on her knees, nigga. Marry me, nigga. <laughs> man. He talking about being a useful asset now. <laughs> she gonna get on her knees and ask to marry you, nigga. You ain't never seen no shit to a chick try to ask you to marry her, nigga, with the meat in her mouth. Oh, my God, nigga. <laughs> 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 Well, I'm not a man. I'm 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 a Hey, I have one more thing, right? On these random things, right? Let me see what y'all feel about this, right? Because this. I found it to be highly irritating. But 
Let me find it again. Boom. Oh, okay. oh and we got to touch verses too before we bounce. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead with the verses. I don't want to miss this thing that you're talking about, though. Um, did you watch it? I didn't. Did you? Did you? Did you watch it, Mike? Yeah. What you thought? I watched it on the recording, so I didn't watch it in real time. Cause you know it's just right on YouTube. Yeah. So what did you think when you saw the YouTube version? Uh man, it was kind of slow. So I, I I loved all the music. It was just I wasn't there for all the build up. So I had to keep fast forward and in between so they could get and that is what makes it interesting. And I know that, but but I had the option to fast forward. So I found out something new. If you watch YouTube on your phone, did you know if you just tap your finger, that's how yep. you fast forward it? Had no yep, idea. Yeah. So yeah, think it's like you know, is that 15, is that fifteen seconds? I think right, you go 10, 20, 30, 40 as you tap it. Yeah. Right. So when like Steve would grab the mic after about the fourth time, I was like, mm, it's time to tap. You know, and I get tapping into the next song played. And um, yeah, man, it was beautiful. I know that was the only verses that took a bathroom break. I yeah, I, that. yeah, that that that. I think they had took they've taken up they've taken breaks before, but this was the first one they definitely announced. Because I remember Jill was saying took a break. I remember I want to say Brandy and Monica took a break. Here's the problem, bro. The beautiful thing about verses, right, was one how organic it was. Some of the best verses that the most memorable verses had all the issues. Teddy Riley and Babyface, Nelly and Luda. It was like that was kind of part of the the memory right it was like some someone sold at their house how dope is their house set up and sound and equipment and music all right cool another thing when you're watching verses one of the aesthetics was it's track for track right so it's like if you start giving me a live version of this song it doesn't sound like the song this is something else this isn't the production that I fell in love with. This is a live performance of the song, which is also very good. When you add a host, we have officially lost the element of the nuanced energy of the artist, right? Name a group that hasn't done verses. Just name any group, any random ass group. Anybody, somebody name it. Bell, 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 Bell versus? Uh, Bell, Biv, DeVoe. Let's say Bell Biv DeVoe does a versus against LSG. R R I P uh uh R I P Michael Bivens? No, LSG. LeVert. <laughs> Gerald LeVert. Right. When you have Bell Biv DeVoe there, Michael Bivens is gonna have a certain amount of say because we know who Michael Bivens is, right? We know who Ronnie is, right? We know Ronnie is going to have the, uh, Ronnie. Uh, we know, yeah, Ronnie Bell is going to have the voice, right? Uh, DeVoe's the interesting part because he's really the dancer, rapper, a Jace of the group, right? But there would be a dynamic that they have as a unit that we don't get always privy to because when they're presented to us, they're always presented to us in the Bell Biv DeVoe packaging. But you were seeing this group, you're like, well, even though Mike probably make the most money and he do all the singing, wait, you wrote all the songs or he could direct the tour or, or he's like, like, you'll see like the wingmanship that happens, right? And all that's lost when you create this polished version with the host directing what he wants you to talk about. I like, I like DMX just getting lost in the whole situation and just being like, what what do you hey man stop fucking up back there? Hey man, <laughs> hey Swiss, you keep saying it's 10 million people watching, nigga. I just keep seeing the same three motherfuckers. Nigga, that's versus, bro. Now, if you got sway there, like, all right, DMX, tell me about you. It's like, nigga, I don't give a fuck about you being here, my nigga. It's not about Steve Harvey. I wouldn't care who it was. I don't want to see a whole show versus. I want the artists to talk over each other. I want there to be that weird snide energy that felt weird in the room with fucking uh, Monica and Brandy. I want the tension that exists between Jeezy and Gucci on stage. If 
if fucking um if what's his name is there, if uh Jay Prince is there and he hosted, and now there's just an air of respect in the room because there's a nigga, there's a boss in the room that both these niggas respect. I don't want to see that shit. I don't give a fuck about that, nigga. That exists already. I've seen niggas nigga get interviewed. I don't give a fuck about that, bro. And I really don't give a fuck about your opinion. I can I don't. I felt like I was watching niggas watch a versus. Hey man, this was one of the worst ones for me. Look, I I agree. I agree. And I think they only had to do this because of who the versus was against. They don't know how to work any type of phone. <laughs> Look, so I'm I'm with you, Mike. That's but so have the setup like you've been having it. Right, because they, they've been in the same room for a minute now. I like the same room. Here's another thing. These niggas didn't just so so they did the setup, right? So if so I got the chat on our phone. So versus used to be the whole screen. Versus used to look like nigga, like hold on two seconds. Just give me a chance to pull up. Versus used to look like this. It's my commercial. Versus yeah. used to be <laughs> versus used to be the whole screen, right? It was the whole goddamn screen. Totally thing, everything take it up. Uh, you ain't gonna see me if I come, right? Boom. Now it's basically just they took it to this. They put all this dumbass artwork down here, and it's like, nigga, it's just that's all we're watching, bro. We're watching the niggas be this me, and it's eight of them. You can't do it like this because then the words are all weird. So it's just like this was. They did it so you can go purchase it on Thriller or whatever in HD. They did this weird setup. It's just hella polished now, and I don't like it as much. I need them to never do a host again. Maybe a host that's a little more aware of... You You guys watch Hot Ones? <laughs> hey, the show you, with the wings? you watch Hot Ones? <laughs> <laughs> No, I've only seen the clip of Shaq going. So <laughs> all I've so, seen. If you watch Hot Ones, any of them, when I tell you this nigga does research and does amazing questions, almost like Narwar. Y'all know Narwar. Narwar, da, 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 da. like he does extremely nuanced, like deep cut questions that are like, oh man, you know your shit. As opposed to, man, when I was coming up, man, shit, you had to love a girl. Tell me about why this song is about love and girls. <laughs> All right. <laughs> nigga, Lance, when this nigga, start, this nigga Steve started queuing, first of all, what the fuck is DJ Nice doing there? Nigga, I don't need this nigga here either. D-Nice. Whatever, nigga. <laughs> don't need this nigga here either. Uh... This nigga, Steve started queuing. All right, D-Nice, hit the next track. Nigga, what are you doing, bro? Like, nigga, you're, what are you doing, bro? It's, I don't need to hear from you today, Steve. I don't need to hear from you. I, I love this nigga. I do not need to hear from you today. I have, I want to hear Ryan Eisen talk about whatever the yeah. fuck he wants to talk about. I don't want you to guide him. I don't want you to, I don't want no structure. I want no structure, nigga. Nigga, <laughs> that shit was running me hot, bro. I would have loved to hear more. From uh, if, the artists, <laughs> nothing else. I'm telling you, Steve Harvey is gonna have 13 jobs. He's gonna have a job or seven. That's the only time a versus that has ever had a host, and it was Steve Harvey. And I understand now. This is the question: Will there be hosts now moving forward? Are they going? To, so, like the next joint is Method Man and Red Man, right? I think Met the Man and Red Man is That's 420. Yes. When, there I did Ghostface and Raekwon, right? Yes. Now, if Tony Baker holds Met the Man and Red Man, I'm off of, there for that. That's something different. Be, because one, Tony's presence wouldn't overshadow the thing, and he would let the artist be the artist, and we've seen it be flawed. Shout out to Steve for being the first person up, but nigga, when I tell you, I don't... And, and let's get the benefit of doubt. Maybe he did it because they owed his fuck. I I'll say this for Steve Harvey. I'm sure that was a dream come true. Sure. 
Congratulations, my nigga. Uh, <laughs> I always like to see people's dreams come true in that way. It's like, bro, knowing Steve Harvey and his disdain for rap music, which is a whole nother conversation. Right. Anybody who hates rap, I just think you anti-black to some degree. I don't understand the idea of hating rap music, but maybe it was just a joke. But it don't feel like it feel like nah, nigga really don't like rap or a lot of only like certain kinds of black people. But that's not the point. The point is <laughs> when I'm watching him with the Ozzy Brothers and Earth, Wind, and Fire, like it'll be like if. Like, imagine if BT was doing something and it was like Magic Johnson, Kobe, and Captain America. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, that's that's right. Those that's, that's like a fun, a fun event. <laughs> Those are the three. Who who is the Marvel nigga? Who who was the number one? For, uh in the in the movies, it was it was yeah, it was Iron Man. Iron I'm Man. saying for you, my favorite Marvel character. Geez, mine might be Gambit, bro. I ain't going to hold you. It's somewhere between Gambit and Bishop, and somewhere okay. between Gambit and Bishop. Bishop from Juice. The hilarious nigga, no Bishop from the future. <laughs> <laughs> I've I've never heard of Bishop before. I know Gambit. That's the X Men. Yeah, Bishop is Bishop is a, a time traveler from the from a, like a dystopian future of the X Men. Long, tall, black nigga with the fucking fucking. He got like a luxurious like uh, curl nigga, big nigga talking shit. He was on the X Men cartoon, and we'll, and and they fucking Gambit threw him. He came actually to kill Gambit, and he was like, "Shoot another one of the motherfuckers over here, and that's your ass." And then Wolverine was like. Try absorbing these, whatever. <laughs> I remember Gambit. I remember Gambit from the video game. They used to have a video game. No, I remember Gambit. I'm good. Yeah, Gambit, I'm good. Gambit wore a long coat, like a trench coat looking thing. Yeah. Throwing uh, Uno cards at people. John <laughs> Forbes, all that. I remember Gambit. <laughs> but no, there, was a, there, there was another point you wanted to make too, Lil Lance, before we got out. Oh, of no, this, so this is. Now, um, all right, I'll, I'll just, I will just read it how it's written. This is coming from my mixtapes, their Twitter account. They tweeted this. This is the picture, right? Verify the account and all of that. I'm going to, I'm going to read it. I don't got to try to read the words. I'm going to read it. YouTube removed YG's 2014 song titled Meet the Flockers due to lyrics about robbing Asian people. Many of YouTube's employees criticized the song's lyrics amid the recent rise of Asian American hate crimes. Wow. <sighs> All right, man. So when I've seen, like, when I first seen it, I was annoyed, right? And then when I read it more, I just got more annoyed. And then I landed on annoyance. <laughs> because what are y'all even talking about? Like, what? first of all, if you hear the song, it's not nothing that is particular about Asian American people. That's just not, he doesn't say anything in particular that's saying that the song came out in 2014. Are y'all saying when that song came out, there was a rise in violence against Asian people? Like, is, are you saying that song is provoking Asian violence? Let me ask, let me ask a question. Is this thing, is the, the Asian hate thing, is this, let's say that there is a rise in Asian, let me get this right. So the story is that the Asian people are being attacked a lot and it's, a, and it's niggas that are doing it? It's, it's all bullshit. But just in general, is that the storyline that they're going with? That niggas are attacking Asian people. So it was it was two or parts. Or that niggas should be doing more to protect them or stand up for them. It's two parts. The initial thing was black. 
they were saying, yes, black people, niggas, we were attacking Asian people. That was the initial thing. They were showing these makeshift videos of Asian people getting pushed down and saying black people got to stop being mean to Asians. And then Jeremy Lin came out and said that he was getting a uh, racist thing said to him in layup lines. And then it was like, who said it? And he wouldn't say. It. All right, bro. So then. Um, yeah, nigga. <laughs> it's like, yo, who, yo, who said it, bro? He's like, nah. So then. Because. You, we are among the same thinking of. I, I'm not. I don't watch the news for information. I live for information. I read and I live and I talk to people and I, I go outside and I experience life. Yeah. Never in my life have I ever, 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 ever seen or heard black people attacking Asian people for any reason but especially because they're Asian. Never seen it, never heard of it, never once, ever in my life. I I ain't never heard no black people saying like, we don't fuck with them Asians. I've never heard that before, ever in my life. Never, and it ain't actually. Fuck with the Asians. We actually spend a lot of money with Asians and, and Chinese people and, and, and people from, from um, you know, from those cultures, whether it be their 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 food, their the liquor stores, the beauty supplies, the the nail salons, the we we spend money I'm, with them. I'm sorry, bro. Let me ask this. Too. And just so I'm clear, the reason that allegedly black people are attacking Asian people is because of COVID, and because. Trump put the so 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 black people are marching to Donald Trump orders. Cool. See what I'm saying? See, yeah, it, it none, none of it makes any sense, right? So then, like I said initially, it was it was this um <clears throat> it was this this thing about black people and but um, we just like that's not real like we don't know what y'all talking about so then then the 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 thing in Atlanta happened with the with the um with the uh with the massage the parlors mm -hmm. right because if we don't believe something because we know that that's not true we we as black people know that that's not what's going on they go to old faithful a crazy white person. And black people will always believe a crazy white person did some evil. So when you told us we was attacking Asians, we like, the fuck y'all talking about? When you tell us a crazy, bold cut white boy, shut up some white Asians, we gotta stop Asian hate. Because we not, we not looking at the full picture. Uh, they told you this and it wasn't real. So maybe this ain't real either. And that was just full fledged. So now, so now, when you look at it now, you start to say stuff like, "We had to take this music off of YouTube because it's talking about robbing Asians." But you can talk about killing niggas all day in music, then killing niggas, robbing niggas, raping all of that with no consequence. But now all of a sudden, that song might have been. Um, encouraging some sort of violence up across Asian people, so we have to take that down. It's like, well, what about all of the music promoting black violence? What about all the slave movies made by white people? Yes, we can keep going on and on and on with this, but I was just looking at that and it was ridiculous, and that was all I had. Man, listen. Here and this and this be one of the things, right? Something cannot be real or tangible, and somebody could get a ball rolling, and a un a somebody the unassuming, not paying attention person. Because I've had to start thinking like this very often, because I find myself on the outskirts of what the masses are thinking, and then I have to uh, add in empathy 
and then say, okay, maybe I don't see it this way, but why do people see it this way? It's like, oh, you're a, you're a part of the herd that's thinking a certain way, right? Stuff like that can get taken into its own context and then run with it. Well, why do I say that? If there was a, a anti-Asian uh, sentiment, right? And then the media starts running with it and they put out the stories, yada, yada, yada. And it wasn't really that serious. And now they're making it more serious. All right. So now those people that might have been looking for a reason, which I do not believe is black people. Black people like hurt. Black people <laughs> don't like hurting Asian people. That's just not a thing. Black people ever heard that. Yeah. You can't even black say it with a straight face. It's like, bro, we've been living like we... We went to like I, I've never seen this before ever in my life, bro. I don't even know what y'all talking about. If you gave a black black people are way too un. Now he's in the system of space. I am convinced that black people, by default, hate themselves. You have to be self aware to know that it exists. That the understanding is for you to do it to not do it. Right. Like to to check that shit at the door. Like, no, I shouldn't feel like this. This isn't how I actually feel. This is what's being programmed to me. And this is why I'm responding like this. All right. Now, within that. If you put a black person, a white person, an Asian person, a Mexican person, if you put all the people in the room and told a black person to start killing them in order. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I'm like, the Asian person gonna be last. <laughs> the and I'm and here's the crazy part. I'm talking both Asians. They gonna kill Indian second to last, and they gonna kill actual rice people after that. They gonna kill white people first. They gonna white people three times. They don't get white people absolutely right out the gate. White white dude, a white man. If it's a white man, oh he's. He gonna be. You gotta shoot somebody. Well, it gotta be this one. Are you telling me? Hey, then it'll probably be niggas. I don't really. I don't know what, what the. He might be next, and then this nigga gonna try to get me. So let me get him about it here. <laughs> you think he got a gun too? Yeah, oh yeah, he got a gun. <laughs> <laughs> got to get this nigga about it here. And then, no, nah, give or take a Latino. He might give or take a like. Oh no, he, he shot my cousin. It's like. All right, nigga, the a Asian people have never posed a threat. Asian people have never posed a, a, a threat to black people that black people are aware of. That we're just like paying attention to, like, oh, these people are a problem. You know, let me get this right. Man, so black people, are, so the word is that black people are taking... The word Trump told us some stuff, and now we acted on that. That's just not a smart logic. It's just not a smart logic. I say this any black people that you've seen um, hurting Asian people, we should check on their mental health. I, 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 I would just ask you who I got. I have never heard of this before. Like, lit, like, lit, like. <clears throat> some some stuff happens and you like even even when you say like a rise in it um it's like it'll be different if if I seen it at all like I've never seen it before so it's like I got rise. Asian in my family bro it's really awkward to even hear this what'd you say I said, I have Asian people in my family. It's really awkward to even hear. Yeah, it, it's it's just all really weird. And then and then when you factor in, look, man, people got to pay attention to how how things move, the, the trends. Notice they are not talking about uh, black people anymore. Now they've moved on to Asian people. Uh, this time last right. year was this April. We're in April. So April was, I don't want to get the dates wrong because, you know, people lost their lives and things. Um, but I feel like Ahmaud Arbery happened around last April or March. And then, oh, you're saying that they, 
They moved away from niggas, hung with the gays for a little bit. And well, they, they're on. always they're always gonna be what the gays are always going to be there. They're always gonna do that thing. But yeah. I'm like, what the 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 push, right? You notice after the election, all of a sudden there are no more the all of these stories you hear about black people getting killed by the police, and not just the police. Now, do y'all remember when they all this propaganda was going on? They were kept putting these stories about about black people being hung from trees. Yeah. You remember that? Right. What what happened to that? Or, or did they stop? That if you if you don't understand propaganda, if you don't understand media, then you'll believe everything that that you see and read. Right? But when you understand that, yo, they they, they show you stuff to hype stuff up. And they're talking about they're talking about Asian hate simultaneously. There is a um the the trial for uh Derek. I never know how to say his last name. Uh, Chauvin or something. Chauvin, his his case is going on right now. Now, why isn't that case why why isn't that case as big and as publicized as, as the open trial was? Yes, and or as big and as publicized as even the George Floyd thing was. You see what I'm saying? It's all bullshit. Yeah, that's but very if you're not paying attention, then you just you go along with what they're doing. But it's like, no, if if everything is as real as you tell me it was, and this event stopped the world and it did all this, then why isn't the trial doing the exact same thing? Right. Cause they finna let that nigga oh. And it's live. The, you can like change the channel and watch the trial like right now. That's a motherfucker. Ain't, ain't, ain't nobody talking about that shit. Yo, that, that's and, crazy. And, and 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 there there are there are people that are talking about it, but but they're they're talking about it because the volume is turned down on it. Yeah. See, people don't understand the power of this media, man. They turn it. They turn up whatever they want to turn up. Right, you know, you know damn well. First off, if this happens on camera, and you and you do the you do the trial ten months later, you done gave people five hundred more things to think about in between then. You you giving people vaccines and 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 that was stop Asian hate, and then the NBA is back. You know, it's like it's so much stuff going on that you like, oh fuck that trial. That that's that's how people process things because it's impossible to care about something when you are forced to care about everything. It's too much information, and well, I won't say too much information. It's too much misinformation. Right. You just fill people's head and face and TV and screen with misinformation. What do you care about? So most people have what they call trusted sources, right? And you go to your trusted sources. But the problem with your trusted sources is they all are bought off media members. So they telling you bullshit too. And you know where else is a bunch of bullshit? In the fucking books. You'd be best off living, having conversations, and observing your surroundings. Do you see a world where niggas hate Asian people? That's what I'm near. Or do niggas love Rush Hour? <laughs> Only thing niggas think about Asian people is that Asian women is fine. This is some pretty babies. This is where I get my do-rags from. Rice. And nigga, the Asian niggas can fight. Here's another thing. Niggas don't really believe in fucking over old people. You know what I'm saying? It's just like elderly in general. Niggas don't really attack elderly people. That's just not a, no. that's just not a black thing. Right. The, the most street niggas, that's like a random street call. Like, listen, man, listen. It's called spade to spade. If you are going to rob somebody, that's probably the easiest target. But they don't rob old people. It's not that's niggas, the the streetest of street niggas be like, come on, man, you all robbed the old lady. No, nah, man, we rob young niggas with dreams. 
<laughs> you rob flash niggas with money and guns and a possible shootout. You don't rob. You rob Takashi ass niggas. You don't rob. You rob rappers that come to the come to the city and don't show nobody no love. You don't rob old people, even though they got a social security check. You don't knock out old people, bro. That's not the nigga way. It's not. It's not black people's way. That's just weird. Yo, so you saying that all this stuff out here could be a distraction? from the actual case that's going on right now so that he can silently weasel out to a small sentence and it not really be talked about? They're going to keep distracting us, bro. And at the end of the day, you got to remember, even though she behind that desk, she still got that ass on her, though. <laughs> AT&T chicken hide as much as she won't, but she got that bang on her. She... Big! 